Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. We are here getting ready for Luna's second litter. So thank you so much to so many of you who have given so much support and love for Wolf Quest over the past first season and Luna's unfortunate first tragic litter. If you guys haven't seen that, go back and check out the beginning of the playlist and you can see as Luna begins to learn how to be a wolf, as she discovers Soul, who becomes her mate, as she ends up with her first litter and the terrible draw that happened as we tried to take care of our first litter we raised them all from infancy into puphood and then unfortunately not a single pup was able to make it from our spring little den over to the summer hunting grounds last time we had one pup be chased off by a coyote one pup was killed by a hawk and two of them died of starvation as Luna limped along trying to make it to the summer hunting ground. So it was a terribly tragic time, but a great way to really focus on how wolves really do struggle. Even the apex predators, the top predators in the food chain struggle very, very much in order to get their puppies from birth to adulthood. So there's a lot of loss of life in that range and hopefully we won't be in that category this time. We are going to begin with our second litter because you guys love Luna so much. So we're diving in back into the woods. It's winter. Luna and Sol have had all summer to kind of recover and rest. Winter's here and she's getting ready to have some more puppies. So let's go ahead. We're going to dive in and try once again to survive. And I think it's already raining. And there's Sol! Look at the snow come down. All right, so our first job is to find a den. And last time we had a really nice den that was actually located over here. So we took this den last time, but it ended up causing a lot of problems in, in the sense that we weren't able to wiggle from the tree that we had over here down this way over to where the summer hunting grounds are, over in the Douglas Fir Slopes. So this time, I'm thinking we might try the Bison Peak Cutoff, and we'll see if we have better luck trying to establish our territory over here and have the shortest possible route to the summer breeding grounds. In the future, Luna will probably have more litters and our pack will continue to grow, and we'll probably end up settling up in the Saddle Meadows, and we'll even try out the close to human habitation. Ooh, getting kind of nervous over there with the Aspen, uh, Aspen Mounts, or the Aspen Den, there we go. Aspen and heights. So that's our goal and we're gonna go ahead and let's see which direction is that den. We need to keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Hello Sol, it's good to see you again. All right that's the lunge and the bite and we've got run covered. Are we gonna run Luna? Luna, Luna are you gonna run? She's like no I don't feel like it. Dang it Luna. Let me see if I can remember how on earth that's rest. That's right. That's right. M the run. Okay. I got it now. I got it now. And just so you guys know, Luna and Soul really have... There's a, there's a few glitches with this game. A lot of glitches with this game, actually. This is one of the glitchiest games I have ever played. So we're having a wonderful time trying to kind of live the wolf life with Luna and Soul. But when I say there's glitches, I mean there's a lot of glitches. So if all you guys get so angry and rage in comments, oh, you only have to press this button, you only have to press that button, I promise you I am bashing the buttons to try to get her to eat and to hunt and to run and to do all of those awesome things that a healthy, happy wolf needs to do but they do not work the majority of the time. You have to line everything up perfectly. You have to see the feeding or attack icon appear on the screen. And even then, you may or may not be lucky enough to actually have it go through with the action. There's a lot of known bugs with the game, especially as we move into, hmm, let's try to find a shallow part of the, the river to cross. Actually, do we even need to cross the river? No, we just need to go around it. So we're gonna go around the river. So we're almost there. This is the sad, tragic place that I think we died at last time. But yeah, so when we start hunting, you guys, when we start going around and trying to defend ourselves, comments that go, Siri, you're just supposed to press these buttons. You guys aren't listening. Look at Soul leave all these awesome little footprints. He's so excited. Look at him do his zigzag thing. Oh, Soul, I did miss you. Isn't he such a, like, a goofy little dork? He really is cool. Oh, all right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna let Luna rest. Oh, look at her. <gasps> I love the paw prints in the ground. She's giving the air a good sniff. 
figuring out what we're gonna do. Okay, good, she's nice and rested. Let's see, that's another Pax territory, so there should be two dens this way. So we're gonna dive right into it and try to find a den and start establishing our territory. Look at Sulko! <laughs> He's just the silliest thing, isn't he? He's so funny. All right, and where would our hunting ground be? Ooh, so we're entering a hunting ground. Let's try to make sure we know where the elk are going to be when it comes to finding food. All right, we're gonna have to walk for a little bit. It's very tricky because remember, you can't just run full out. You have to let the poor wolves get a little bit of a rest so that their stamina will recharge and then we can set off again. Dun 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 dun. Looks a little icy over here. Soul. <laughs> now he's zigzagging through the trees, probably dancing on the ice on the, the snow. I'm really hoping the second litter will at least be able to have one puppy survive because it was so sad to lose that many of our pups. All right, there's a den nearby. All right, where is it? Is it over here? All right, Soul, we're gonna try out this litter this time. And by the way, for those of you who are curious, Sol's name, S-O-L, is the term for the sun. It is the technical name for our sun in our little solar system. All right. Sol, do you see the den? I'm not seeing a den. I slowed down because I was thinking there was, there was like a den here. All I'm seeing is bush. Nothing living either. I guess everything's, oh wait, I guess, so we must be near the den somewhere. Is it over this ridge? Let's go. Oh, look at him run. Little puppy paw prints. All right, is it over here? So do you see somewhere that we could, we could plant some puppies? Raise them to be big and strong. Oh, hey now. I think we exited where the den was. Oh, I see. Okay, so we, we overshot. So let's go back to the other spot because we already tried the tree area and it was pretty good except for when uh, except for when everybody would get stuck in the trees. Oh, there it is. I think we ran right past it. Wait, no, that's not a den. This is a dead a dead elk. All right, we can get a little bit of food, Soul. Gotta fill up because Luna's probably expecting another litter of pups. All right, and see, here comes the tricky part. All right, let's slow down and walk and carcass and, yep, nope, bash the buttons, can't eat. Have to wait till, oh, this is, this is where the rage begins. This is where the, the hatred of the glitches starts. Oh, 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 we had it for just a second. Gotta go by the neck. All right, there we go. There we go, soul. Now we've got some food. All right, so that was not our den. But apparently there's a den nearby. And I remember we found this den. I just don't know. Hmm. Luna, why are you zigzagging? All right, let's see. Sorry, just like I said, this is one of the glitchiest games I've ever run into. Isn't this the den we had last time? Soul, isn't this the den we had last time? Is this really the den we had last time? And we still couldn't survive? Are you kidding me? This is totally the den we had last time, isn't it? Pretty sure. All right, we're gonna we're gonna check out the other den. I'm not ready to call this a successful den site. So we're mm, the middle one's the glitched one, isn't it, Soul? Hmm. Hmm. What to do? Because there's normally three den sites, and we unlocked this one, but it's considered glitched. So uh, should we go to Aspen Heights? That's really far away, though. You know what? Let's try the let's try the glitched one. The worst that can happen is that our puppies won't survive like last time. So we'll see what happens. So you gotta help us keep our puppies well fed and alive at this new den, okay? Hopefully this will work. All right, so let's find our way. Run, 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 run. So we're gonna ignore the old den for now. It may be the best den. Ha! There's a coyote. Can I see him? Oh, I can. Ooh, and I see some food in the distance. Not bad, but we're gonna ignore that little guy. As long as he hasn't messed with our, our future pups. And we are searching for our new den. I wonder if it'll be down here. Might be. Getting awful close to something. 
We need a good spot. Is it down here? I think it's down here. All right, what do I, wait. This tree looks just like the other tree. This is the tree we had the puppies at the first time, isn't it? <gasps> so, they're all awesome trees. Well, this is a cool spot. Um, and I think we're gonna go back to the other spot now. <laughs> Cause this is actually the cursed spot. Well, never mind. Sorry about that, guys. They, they look pretty identical, those trees. So I really did get them mixed up. I know this is going to be very risky because this time our top competitor when it comes to having our puppies is actually going to be dealing with some neighboring wolves. But I'm hoping we can howl and we can leave our scent mark everywhere and we can really proclaim the territory that we wanna, we wanna have. Luna, can you not run? Nope. All right, Luna, we're gonna try this one more time with the whole eating of the frozen elk. It's elksicle. Nibble your elksicle, Luna, like a good wolf. All right, let's back up, and there we go. There, I'm glad to know that we are figuring out how to work with our glitches, not not be completely destroyed by them. But yeah, the putting uh, chicken broth or putting pieces of meat in frozen ice is really a great way to enrich uh, the lives of captive wolves. So you'll see that quite a bit at like sanctuaries where they've got wolves or places like that. Where on earth did that den site go, Sol? How do you lose a giant tree? I mean, it was right here. Wasn't it right here, Sol? He's not helpful. He's adorable, but we didn't we didn't pick Sol as our mate for his uh, intelligence. I can definitely definitely be among the first to admit that. All right, what about down here? Was it down here, Sol? Aha! I see a giant tree. There we go. See, does it look just like the other giant tree? I could have sworn that this was, is this? Yeah, no, it looks identical to me, but this is a different giant tree, I'm pretty sure. So we are going to make this our den. This is, well, Bison Peak. This sounds very familiar, but you know what? It's about equal distance from the, the hunting grounds, from the elk grounds and the nearest wolf pack. Hunting forays will take longer, but stranger wolves are less likely to intrude into your territory. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make this our den. And if it happens to be the exact same spot that we picked last time, so be it. We'll just have to, we'll just have to do, like, deal with it. There we go. All right. And here we go. So this is going to be where Luna is going to have her second litter of pups. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start marking territory. I actually forgot how to mark territory already. So one second. No, I need, I need the set, not the settings. Interface. There we go. All right. Let's see. How? There we go. Scent view. And mark territory, of course, because they are peeing, it is the letter P. All right, let's come out here and we're gonna mark our territory. Hey, 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 you, hey. Um, do I know you? Hey, you. That's right, okay, you can leave now. You can leave now. She's all, she's all, okay, shoo, shoo, get going, get going. This is gonna be my spot for my pups. Too late, it's Arden now. Get out of here. Good, so she's out of here. Yeah, I guess it's, I can't really blame her though because we just arrived. We don't have any scent mark. Strange wolf encounter, that's right. We've gotta mark our den to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Come on, Sol, you can help out. It's not hard, just lift your leg. Lift your leg and give it a little shake. All right, so let's mark over here. Oh, I'm so nervous about when we're gonna have to like take care of all of our, our puppies again. Because we did not do so well last time, but we're not going to give up. And hopefully we can have better success with our puppies in the future. Also, great news for those of you who are following up on the red wolves. They had some more red wolf pups born in the uh, Mississippi Zoo. One of the Mississippi zoos does have a breeding group of red wolves. And they welcomed, I think, two or three new cubs, or pups, I should say, a little bit ago. Oh, I think I hear somebody. So we're trying to get in my territory. Not having any of that. Playing their playing their little punk rocky wolf music, huh? That's right, you better get out of here. I don't see anybody. Oh oh, is it because of the coyote? Oh, Soul, do you think we can take him? Do you think we can take him, Soul? And get him, Soul! Get him! Go, Soul, go! We got this! Come on, don't don't let him get loose! Go for it, Sol. 
Huzzah, you did it! Huzzah! We have proclaimed this other area. We are getting better at this. All right, well, I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, between our, our better, uh, better hunting and defending capabilities and marking our territory, and our previous experience, and that actually is very common for a lot of wild animals, is one of the reasons they have so many babies or so many litters is because it takes a while to do it right. It takes a while to be able to have enough enough experience in raising your young. It's not just instinctual for a ton of species. Lots of rabbits will often, wild rabbits will often have one or two little litters. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. Oh, it's almost springtime. <gasps> Okay, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's going to be springtime. So I will see you guys next time because that is when we are going to have our puppies who you can hear growling and whining in the background and we will welcome them into the world. So I'm really excited. We'll have to see what Luna's second litter looks like and we'll have to give them all appropriate names and hopefully manage to raise this litter right and get them sent off into the world without losing them. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.